Patterson vaccinates because Patterson dominates. When it comes to that. Some friendly fighting words from Patterson Mayor Andre Seya, who is squaring off with Trenton Mayor Reed Gashora in what the state is calling the mayor's vaccine challenge. It's just the latest initiative that aims to boost the Garden State's numbers. No matter who comes out ahead, uh, this competition in my book, uh, you are already winners. The objective, to get as many members of their communities vaccinated by the end of the year. The city that loses will have to feed first responders in the winning city. The menu will be based on the very best of what each city has to offer. You'll be noshing on hummus, baba ganoush, and falafel. Both cities are already well on their way. 73% of residents in Trenton have received at least one shot of the COVID vaccine, while those in the 12 through 17 age group that rate is 69%. Overall, 47% of the city is fully vaccinated. In Patterson, the numbers are just as impressive, where 88% of those eligible have received at least one dose, as well as 86% of the 12 to 17 age group. Now, Patterson and Trenton aren't the only cities in the Garden State boasting impressive numbers. Vaccination rates above 70% is a trend state officials are seeing in many municipalities that were originally areas of concern. When it comes to single doses, Jersey City, North Bergen, Edison, Cherry Hill, and Elizabeth all hit above the 70% mark. And in Newark, the state's largest city, over 62% of those eligible have received at least one shot, and 52% now fully vaccinated. Despite the encouraging outlook, Commissioner Persa Kelly admits there are a few pockets of concern. Uh, we're focusing on Ocean, Cumberland, and uh, Salem right now. Um, we'd like to, uh, say they're, they're around 68, 69. New Jersey currently ranks sixth overall nationwide. Despite meeting their initial vaccination goals, state officials are showing no signs of slowing down.